Hey guys, this is Samuel Tagik. I noticed in a lot of papers and um, stuff that people have been giving Resident Evil Extinction, you know, some bad buzz. But I'm going to give it my review. Now, personally, I liked the movie. It was a great movie. It was just great. Lots of action. Lots of blood. It was just really great. It was the action movie and scary movie at the same time. It wasn't that scary, but it was still scary if you, like, took, I don't know, 10-year-old in there to, like, freak out, probably poop their pants or something. Anyway, it, it was a really great movie. The special effects were done really excellent. I don't know why people don't like it that much. I, I personally love it. I like it. But there's some things I have to agree with them on. There was a lot of cheap scares. You know, like... They would play eerie music really, really softly, and then, BAM! You know, they would just put a very loud noise, like five times louder than the music, and it'd freak out a little of the people. And then the flashbacks of them, like, cutting up people was kind of scary. I don't know. I don't think these movie critics don't really know the story because, you know, it's about the Umbrella Corporation and the T-Virus, and instead of the stopping the T-Virus like it did in Resident Evil 3, what it did is that the T-Virus swept the whole world, and the whole world is zombies, and there's only like 50-some survivors in the United States of America, and they're trying to get to Alaska, because they think that's the only place that hasn't been hit yet. Yeah, and um, they just didn't like it, I don't know. There was clones with, there was clones of this main girl that was trying, you know, that had the blood, the only thing that could mix with the T-virus and make a cure for it, and they were trying to clone her or something, you know, I don't want to really ruin it, I'm just trying to explain it as best as I can without ruining it for you guys, anyway, I love this movie, it's just that it ends with a huge cliffhanger, and that there's a lot of cheap scares, but, you know, we'll just have to wait for the second one. <laughs> I don't know why people don't like this. I love this movie. I think it's terrific. So, if you're a fan of the Resident Evil video games, definitely go out and see it. It's great. It kind of lives up to the Resident Evil name. It's really good. It's not about the regular storyline, though. It's like a side story, what would happen if the Umbrella Corporation actually did spread the T-Virus everywhere. It's still a great film with terrific special effects. I give it a 3 out of 5. It's a good movie, but some of the stuff they did wasn't very smart. And I also noticed some, you know this movie's made by Sony Pictures? Every electronic in that movie had was a Sony brand. Like all the computers were, were Sony computers. I forgot what the name of the Sony computers were. And, um, you know, all the... Walkie talkies had Sony written on the side of it, you know, the Sony logo. I noticed that. <laughs> anyway, this is Sad Matagik.